and they're going to be like, yeah, bitch, you know, I did that, and I took your man, and mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I don't, I... Hi guys, it's Ellie. Welcome back to my channel. I got a new look going on. Well, I'm just being lazy. I'm not wearing makeup and I thought to put my glasses on. And yeah, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much to all the new subscribers and the returning viewers. I love you guys. Thank you so much for all your beautiful messages. I had a really, really hard week and I thought it was really appropriate to do a video about this today. Um, I was uh, waiting to hear about a gig that I was in talks um, with uh, these producers uh, that they wanted to cast me to co-host a really, really cool show uh, to go do a paranormal investigation of a very, very famous house in the East Coast, which I can't say you know, what it is and what the project's name is for you know obvious reasons um and i didn't i didn't get it so network uh network decided to go a different route so they probably cast some like white um fat guy to to do what i was supposed to do anyways so that was really 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 difficult to receive uh that i didn't book it you know because it was like really it was looking like i was going to get it you know and i didn't get it and i was really really bummed out um and then also last week um five years ago on march 6th i lost my big brother to suicide so of course every year around this time is really difficult for my family and i and the persian new year is on the uh, it's on March 21st is actually my dad's birthday too and some family drama um, my brother's wife decided to cremate my brother on my dad's birthday and our Persian New Year on March 21st so the whole month of March really sucks for us and um, it was really 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 difficult for me I kind of went into this uh, kind of a dark space and uh, I was really sad and I was really you know um, upset and I should have done a video about it because I think like it's important for people to know like you can't always be in the same mood and it's not always gonna be amazing like you don't not gonna feel like that every single day um, but you can't stay there you can't stay in that space it's really dangerous because it can spiral and and that's is what's bringing me into talking about Selena because I saw something very very alarming uh, and and very um, not shocked I'm not shocked by this but it is very alarming that she's saying this so I was watching I was on the net and I watched uh, an interview that she's given recently I think just a few days ago where she's explaining her lyrics uh, for um, uh, her song rare because she's come out with her own makeup line and it's, she's named it rare which is a really beautiful thing because she wants to teach everyone that you know we are all rare in our own way and when and not everyone's supposed to look like each other and that's what she was alluding to about like you know on instagram people tend to copy each other you know everyone is getting these weird like surgeries where everyone is like just like snatched all the way back you know which is a cool look like i'm not gonna lie like I, if i had the money i would totally do the same thing that's why i'm wearing these glasses because they're just like hiding the fact that i don't have any makeup on so um and yeah i was just like not in the mood to get dressed up and wear my makeup and i know you guys love that and I know I slay all the time, but sometimes you're just like not in the mood. And I don't want to prevent myself from sitting here and talking to you guys when I'm going through something difficult because I just think that's the whole point of, you know, sharing and and teaching uh, um, spirituality and uh, life transformation and life coaching and. Uh, you know that's what i that's what i like to do with these readings and stuff and i try to like be really optimistic and help people you know realize their potential and tap into what they want to do in their lifetime so i can't be in a dark place if i'm trying to be a teacher and help people in that way but at the same time i have to say we're all human hence selena describing and it was kind of a weird interview because i don't i don't want to put it on my channel and i don't want to insert any any clips because because of the copyright and all that because youtube is like getting really notorious with all that you can't even say like lyrics and things like that they'll flag your video but um 
so yeah she apparently spelled out like her song rare and she was like just saying like the lyrics and wasn't singing it she was just like saying it like i'm so rare why can't you recognize that i'm so rare like it's made me really sad because people make fun of her uh in regards to like her voice like not being a, not being a real singer or whatever so you could tell she was like really it was very awkward she didn't want to sing it she just wanted to say it and um and yeah in the video she's saying like basically she's saying um you know um, there's moments that I wake up in the morning and the first 15 minutes I say to myself like yeah I think you're just gonna like end up being alone for the rest of your life like you're just not gonna be able to like have um, that companionship with that partner or that you know she wants a boyfriend so bad it makes me so sad that she is that raw and open about it and and that's what I want to talk about today I want to talk about when you are in that space like I was last week and I'm slowly getting myself out of it through meditation and changing my vibration which I'm going to get into in this video right now so this is going to be more of a chit chatty video but I want to talk about Selena specifically and I want to uh, show you guys what it does when you stay in a frame of thought that it keeps you know um, happening like it's like a loop and it keeps coming back until you change your thought process if you want to see any change in your life um, that's literally what you have to do you have to change your thought process so it seems like she's still very much stuck in this scenario um, it's like watching a movie and you're watching a scene over and over and over you're watching the same scene over and over and over and that's what selena is doing in her mind because she is still in shock that justin left her she says that in her song after two months you replaced us like it was easy um and that that's what she's upset about like you replaced us you replaced our love for eight the past eight nine years yes it was maybe toxic at some time and it was up and down and yes they were very very young to be in a serious relationship but they were in a serious relationship and they were living together and it was a very very serious justin had mentioned that it was almost like a marriage so um yeah so she still is replaying this scenario like how did i get replaced someone that's been his significant other this entire time like eight years or ten years and i got replaced by the side chick which is Haley. um and because she's staying in that space she's still um the energy her energy is still the same she's not meeting anybody she's not um she is forcing herself to be happy but every time you see her in an interview it's still very she's very resentful she's very angry she's very she's confused um she um just, just she just can't shake it off taylor swift love that song by the way she really should hang out with her friend taylor swift and listen to that song because sometimes music really helps us like lift us from the mood that we're in if you listen to something really fun and upbeat and you know you can feel it and it tingles and and she but she is still in that headspace and what that does is when you are keeping yourself in this vibration like everything has a vibration like even like even something as solid as this has a vibration like if i put this under a microscope it's going to be it's going to vibrate if i put my hand which is a solid matter under a microscope it's not going to be the solid it's going to vibrate and light is going to come out of it so um everything has a vibration and vibration is what uh trans transfers into manifestation like if my vibration is in i feel good about myself and i'm like i look snatched and i'm gonna slay and i'm gonna go and win and i'm gonna get this audition i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do this i'm gonna project this energy i'm gonna project this confidence i'm gonna you know see the outcome in my mind in my third eye and it's gonna happen i'm gonna it's gonna be the snowball effect where you're just gonna um you know all the, all that whatever that you're putting out is going to be coming to the law of the law of attraction and i know a lot of people make fun of it and say oh mm, mm. you know they do that stupid shit where it's like you know just practice it because we all have the ability to invite into our lives what we want and we are all 
uh, spirits in these bodies and have the ability to create what we want in this 3D reality, okay? And I don't want to get complicated and lose you guys in this conversation. I don't want to get too like philosophical and whatever, but the reality is that we individually, all of us, have the ability to change our reality by just shifting our thought process and shifting our vibration. If you're sad and you don't eat and you don't exercise and you're not in the sun and you're not in nature and you're always angry and resentful and anxious and bitter and you just talk about it all the time, that's what you're inviting into your life because the universe doesn't understand you. I want this and I don't want that. It just understand you're talking about it. And since you're talking about it, it's just gonna bring it to you. So it's really, really important to know and be conscious of what you're thinking about. And that's why I want to talk about Selena because I feel like I wish she had someone that could sit her down and say, I know you're really hurt. I know you feel betrayed. I know Justin really, really, really fucked you up because he was abusive towards you. Uh, the up and down, the yes and no, the back and forth really destroyed her and that's why she wrote all these songs because she's saying in her songs basically like i was always good and forgiving and trusting and um i was fair but you weren't you weren't fair back to me and um and she seems destroyed by that because she loves so hard like she just loves with her entire heart and um and I think she was kind of confident in the fact that Justin is so madly in love with her that, that he would never leave her. So maybe that's also another kind of a reality for her that like, wow, he actually left me. He actually got married. Like reality check. He actually left and he actually married someone else. So that is her reality right now. You know, every time she wakes up in the morning and she is reminded the fact that Justin's not with her, and Justin is with someone else and he left her and married someone else, married her enemy, the side chick that he was involved with. It must really, really hurt. And I understand that. And that's why I talked about my situation in the beginning of the video because I, I understand, you guys understand what it's like to go through breakups, to lose your job, to lose loved ones, uh, all of that. Like we all know that, we all have experienced it to some degree, but you can't let it completely make you and make you like not be able to function and like get on with your life you have to like of course the first two years the first two the first two three years uh my brother passing was devastating it was like i was crying constantly all the time and because i read spirits and energy he was communicating with me at different weird places and when i was like around people i would just start bawling because i could feel his energy there and and um you know i would have dreams about him and it was just like really 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 hard for me to come into grasp with the idea that he's passed on and he's crossed crossover and then it's now five years so we all have have experienced grief um you know all of that in some degree and you have to life goes on life goes on and you are here and you have a purpose and you have to fulfill that and you have to let your spirit fulfill what it wants and and when you die it's not the end we are just cross over to the other dimension that's a parallel dimension to earth and um you guys can look all that stuff up there's a lot of mediums that have described this parallel universe descriptively like very very specifically uh, all walks of life different religion different backgrounds different ethnicities they all talk about the same thing so but in the other side apparently when you cross over you have the ability you have the you have the ability instantly to manifest what you want and to create the kind of life you want and in this three-dimensional physical state it's a lot it seems like it's a lot harder because we de we are, we're dealing with gravity and time and all of that and physics. So your mind, our minds are also very logical, um, even though we are connected to source, to source energy, but our minds are really logical and we're thinking about like, logically, I can't levitate this table or I can't move this or I can't just appear and disappear when I close my eyes, like obviously, but there's things that you can do that you can manifest what you want. So. Looking at Selena's situation, I think the lesson of the day is 
yes, we all go through horrible things in our lives, and um, and we can. And she's lucky that she can write songs about it, and it can be therapeutic for her that way through music. Some of us have other outlets, like I have a YouTube channel that I get to like sit here and talk to you guys and and love on my audience, and my audience loves on me, which is like the most amazing thing. Reading your messages and reading your comments is everything. Like I live and i love it and i love you guys and i just want to come on here and say look i'm sitting here with no makeup on with my freaking glasses on but i put some hoops on so i would be cute you know a little bit of snatched you know because you don't want to be totally ugly and uh and just say you know it's okay a lot of us sometimes we have bad days we have off days and just you need to pull yourself together and meditate and visualize what you want and put yourself back into the vortex of manifestation and put yourself back into imagining and dreaming and aspiring and just focusing on what is it that you want to do in this lifetime and i wish someone could help selena maybe one of these days she'll come across my videos i would love it if she watched my videos that would be amazing i tag her sometimes on instagram when i put little clips of it i don't know if she looks at it or not but that would be really amazing i love her so much i think she's an amazing person and by being so raw and open with her fans and people it's creating a different uh, energy where I just don't want her to hold on to this like hurt and I don't want her to hold on to this like you know where she wants people to like pity her or feel bad for her or feel, feel sorry for her and um, because it's just gonna give Haley more energy the more she does this it's gonna give Haley more energy and it's gonna give Justin more energy and they're gonna feel really defined they're gonna be like yeah bitch you know I did that and I took your man and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I just feel like that's what's happening and I want her to turn things around I want her to stop talking about Justin I want her to just live her best life and go out there and date and have fun and write music about that and just date and have fun and do whatever she wants to do she's still super super young like what is it i just got a message um on my you guys are talking to me literally as i'm doing this video what are you guys saying everyone agrees with my videos thank you guys thank you thank you thank you lindsay dawn just said i completely agree thank you lindsay um by the way fyi i wanted to say i finally um blocked diane black whatever her freaking identity is because i wasn't gonna do that i wasn't gonna block her uh because i was like whatever everyone have um their right to have their opinion and but she started calling me a moron or something and and it's not that she just like leaves a comment she leaves like twenty thousand comments in the same video and it's kind of redundant and it's just really bizarre and some of you think it's actually Haley bieber that is under that account and she apparently this diane black goes on every other videos that about selena and uh just talk shit to the person that's doing the video whether it's a reading or news or whatever uh so we don't know who diane black is we don't know if it's like Haley bieber herself Haley baldwin bieber whatever her name is and um or if it's just people that are working for her i don't know but it does sound kind of strange that this woman is constantly going on people's channel and just like randomly just talking shit to the to the person that is you know handling like that that it's their chat it's my channel i can say whatever fuck i want to say so but just a lot of you guys were saying please block her please block her please block her so i finally blocked her i think in my last video on Haley, i think i finally blocked her because i know that designers give these people wardrobe and things like that but i also have seen her buy a lot of fucking shit like bags and bags coming out of a store because prop there's because i live in los angeles there's paparazzis everywhere you know um there's certain streets and places where celebrities all go to eat to shop so i've actually seen it like with my own eyes she's coming out of a store with bunch of bags she's purchasing things and uh but yeah on the red carpet they're probably giving her the jewelry and the clothes because 
she is using Justin's name to get attention and to get gigs and to be relevant. It's so ironic because Justin would tell Selena that you're using my name to um, you know get attention or get pub publicity and you know you're riding off of my coattail or whatever so it's just ironic that he used to say that to her but in reality it's Haley that's doing that and also I think just speaking psychologically here and not even looking at the cards or looking at it spiritually and psychically psychologically I think that Justin was very much in competition with uh, with Selena with Haley he's not in competition he's not competing with Haley because Haley is like down here and Justin's up here so I think that a lot of times men can handle a really strong beautiful woman that's also really successful and she's making her own money and Haley is like was this fan you know just like worshiping Justin and I don't think Selena behaved that way Selena was like I'm a queen and if you want to be with me you better fucking step up your game and get your shit together and and that's what she did and if it made if it made her lose Justin then he was not the right person so I wanted to come on really quick and talk to you guys about this and just say the lesson of this is like yes we understand what Selena is going through we all have experienced things like that but we have to remember that whatever you think about you bring about whatever you're focusing on is going to happen so if she's going to sit and just reminisce over and over and over and over how heartbroken she is how she was left behind how she was abandoned how she was betrayed how the love of her life has is married to someone else she's never going to create a new life for herself with that kind of a mentality and energy because everything's vibration and your vibration gets matched with your reality and then that reality gets repeated over and over and over and maybe that's why she was in the kind of space with Justin because they were both repeating the same thing over and over so I hope that they get some they get spiritual help or they get life coaching I mean that's that's basically what I do I do I'm a spiritual consult consultant I'm a life coach I do readings and I'm a paranormal investigator I'm an actor I mean you know I'm just like all sorts of talent so <laughs> Anyways, um, I just wanted to talk to you guys about that really quick and if you guys want to comment on my videos, I would love it. Let's be respectful of each other's opinions. Let's not, you know, condemn and use vulgarity and any of that and let's just communicate and let's learn from these situations and learn from other people's mistakes and and support each other. A woman should support each other and not break each other down. Okay, so that's it. I want to do a quick video. I want to do a quick video about this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think down below. Please subscribe, share, and like. I will be doing um, uh, different videos in the next couple of days. I want to do um, April forecast for different signs. I'm an Aries, so I'm probably going to do an Aries forecast just to see what the hell is happening, to see what the hell is coming up. Let's just pull a card on Aries right now and see what's coming up. Or maybe we'll just pull a card on on uh, Selena. Two of Swords. She's still sitting on... Literally, everything I just said, we got confirmation. Everything I just literally said for the past, I don't know how long, just got confirmation. She's still sitting in that energy space. The two of the two of swords is inability to move, to make a decision. You're indecisive. You're stuck. You're sitting there and you can't move because you don't know which way to go. You guys look this up as two of swords. So you know what I'm talking about. Literally everything I just said. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, spirit. They love me. My spirit guides love me. Literally everything I just said was confirmation. I feel like Selena is stuck in the same vibrational frequency. She is still in the same vibrational frequency. Why? Why me? Why me? Why? 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 And she's stuck and she can't decide. She doesn't know if she wants to go this way or that way. It's like it's time for her to move on, but she just is not able to move because she's so depressed and sad still over the whole thing. Uh, and her music has helped her, but she's still very much in it. She's still very much in that vibrational energy where that she's hurt and she feels betrayed and and she's angry and she's bitter and she feels like she's gonna be alone and she's never gonna meet anyone that made her feel the way Justin made her feel the whole shebang, okay? So anyways, 
that was interesting we got confirmation i don't even need to do the cards it's so crazy but i wanted to pull a card in case i was just talking out of my butthole but apparently i know what i'm talking about so anyways you guys thank you so much i love you guys please subscribe share and like i can't wait to start doing super chat with you guys which is going to happen really soon and yeah until we see each other be good manifest your dreams love yourself put yourself first and just focus on what you want to for it to be your reality i love you guys bye